away. Even when this matchstick is tilted, why is the flame still pointing upwards? As the wick burns, hot gases are released from it. These glowing hot gases are what we see as the flame. The shape these gases take is decided by the flow of the surrounding air. Let us first notice the air above the flame. It is hotter than the air on the sides. This is always the case because the flame heats up the air around it. And this hot air rises, making the area above the flame hotter. But why does the hot air rise? Well, air just like all matter is made up of tiny particles. These particles get more energy when they are heated. This energy causes them to move faster. And as they move, the distance between them increases. There are fewer particles in this space now than before heating. This means that the mass of air in the given volume, which is equal to the density of the air, has reduced. The air has effectively become lighter. This lighter hot air rises. So, once the air from the sides of the flame has risen, is the space around the flame left with no air? Well, that is not the case. While the hot air moves upwards, the relatively colder air in the surroundings moves as well. We can visualize this movement using the smoke from these incense sticks. Since the incense sticks burn without a flame, the gases in its smoke aren't as hot as the air around a flame. So this smoke simply goes wherever the surrounding air takes it. In this setup, we can see that the smoke near the second chimney is getting pulled towards the flame and coming out of the first chimney. Like magic! What's happening? The air near the second chimney is comparatively colder and heavier. So it sinks and moves towards the empty space around the flame, where it gets heated and rises out of the first chimney. This explains the path of the smoke. So, does this mean that the space at the top of the second chimney is now empty? No. The hot air from the side cools down as it rises and eventually sinks and fills this space up. This cold air then sinks further and the whole process continues like a cycle, which we call the convection cycle. These convection cycles are taking place not on just one side but all around the flame. Without the convection cycle, the hot gases released in all directions during the burning of the wick would make the flame look circular. But due to the continuous upward movement of air close to the flame, its shape gets elongated. So, we've seen how convection cycles work in air. Leave me a comment below if you think convection currents are set up in water too. And for more such engaging videos, subscribe to our channel.